If you're watching this video, that means you're a fan of Halloween and decorating for Halloween. Decorating your yard for Halloween can be just as fun for you as it can be for trick-or-treaters. In this video, I'll share with you five ideas that will enhance your already awesome Halloween displays. Before we dig into those ideas, here's a disclaimer. These are simply ideas and suggestions. However you choose to celebrate is up to you. One way to enhance your Halloween display is to choose a genre. Now there's lots of genres to choose from. You can make it kid friendly, whimsical, realistic, traditional, themed, horror, and the list goes on. But by choosing a genre, your whole Halloween display will come together. Let's take a look at this display for example. Now it doesn't appear to be any genre chosen, it just looks like a blend of lots of different kinds of Halloween things thrown together, which makes us confused. I don't understand. Are you going for horror? Because it's quite confusing. If you are trying to go for horror, then make sure that all of your props and decor are tied to horror. Oh. When putting your Halloween display together, think about who it's for. Is it for little kids? Is it for older people? Are you wanting to scare people? Are you wanting to make them smile? As you buy your props or make your props, think of who your audience is and what the intended effect is. Another good idea is to pick a theme for your display. This will allow your display to tell a story. If you don't necessarily have a theme, it's really confusing and it just looks like a pile of junk thrown together. Just like with professional haunted houses, if your display tells a story and has one theme running through it, it allows your visitors to get enveloped more into your story that you're trying to tell thus making it more effective. If there's no theme, it just kind of looks like some random junk thrown together, and we don't know what to look at, or what the goal or the point of it is. Here's a good idea. Have a point. Let's take a look at this Halloween display. Now, it's, it's cool and everything, but it doesn't really go together. What's the theme? What's the story? I'm confused. The thing that really stands out is this Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. It doesn't seem to go. But in this Halloween display, using that same prop, it now tells the story and it has a theme to it and it's really cool. I don't know where this display is, but man, I hope to see it one day because that's awesome. Having all of your props tell a story really gives it that wow effect. My idea for you is to choose a theme, and if you're not able to do that because you do have an assortment of different things, then another idea I have for you is to make sections. So put all your things together and sort them by sections. In this example, this person did decorate their yard with lots of different things, but they grouped all of their decorations into areas. So here's a pirate area, and there's a vampire area, and there's a zombie area, so all of the things are put together so it's not overwhelming to visitors or trick-or-treaters. So in a lot of ways, this yard has lots of mini themes going on. This next idea is actually a big one. No pun intended. It's all about proportion your viewers can get totally lost and taken out of your story and out of your display if the proportions aren't really right at all. Look at this picture. You have a giant witch next to a tiny witch. You have a giant pumpkin next to an inflatable Darth Vader looking thing. You have a Mickey Mouse. I mean, all these things, 
the size of them and the scope of them don't really match. And because of that, it just looks thrown together. In this Halloween display, there's a lot of cool things in here and there's a lot of great stuff to look at, but I don't know where to look because there's so much going on. The proportions are way out of whack and out of scale and it causes my brain to go a little bit fuzzy because I don't know what to look at. So when you're putting your Halloween display together or when you're buying or making your Halloween props, <laughs> Think about the scale of what you already have or the scale of the props within relationship to each other. It makes a big difference when everything fits with each other because then it results in a much better looking display. Another thing you can do to enhance your Halloween displays is to avoid clutter. Now again, there's a lot of great stuff in this Halloween display. So much stuff. Well, too much stuff actually. My eye does not know where to go. It's, it's a lot of great things, but it's just, just too much. Hmm. I do have a couple of ideas if you do have all that stuff, and I'm kind of jealous if you have all that stuff. But one way you can avoid clutter is to make sections, like I mentioned earlier. Another way is to separate and spread them out. And finally, you could not use all of it all at once. Maybe use it every other year or every third year. By having a different display every year, it actually keeps it interesting. Let's dive more into what these three look like. So in place of putting everything all together, all in the middle of your yard, it might be a good idea to use it every other year. If you do have a lot of different Halloween decorations, why not use a third of it this year, a third of it next year, and a third of it in the third year? This actually is great for visitors because you're keeping them interested and they are like, wow, that's new, I haven't seen that before. Plus, when you rotate every three years, it's been a while since they've seen it, so they might have forgotten about it. Yes! If you're not interested in that idea and you do want to use all of your Halloween decorations all at once, why not separate and spread them? One thing I see in some Halloween displays is they put all of their decorations clumped up together in the front of the yard or up against their house but why not separate and spread them? Spreading out your decorations gives your viewer a chance to see all of them. If you clump them together, they might miss some things and they don't spend much time, but by spreading them apart, they will walk around your display and spend much longer time and enjoy it more. Another thing you can do in addition to spreading things out is to separate them into sections. You could do this by putting up some temporary walls. I use PVC pipe, some black cloth, maybe put a couple cobwebs on there, and there you go, you have a separate section. So you could take one yard and split it up into three or four different sections. Now I think this display is amazing and bravo to whoever made this display. It looks fantastic but there could have been a little bit more benefit and it could have been enhanced, in my opinion, by either separating it into different sections so I, the viewer doesn't see it all at once or by maybe not using all of it all at once. In my opinion, this idea is the one that is used the least in Halloween displays and that's a shame because you can really enhance the whole mood of your display by using music and sounds. That'd be fantastic. You can make your display more whimsical, scarier, creepy. Now some people do use sound effects and that's great, but why not tie in some music with it? Here's what I mean. This is my Halloween display from several years ago with some creepy sound effects added. 
by adding sound effects, you can really give your visitors a creepy, chilling vibe as they walk through your display. In addition to sound effects, you could also add music to your display. The music will enhance that creepy vibe as well. This creepy music is a great example of taking your display and really pumping up the chill factor. If you're looking for some creepy music to use in your displays, check out Walter's Music on Twitter or click the link below and I'll send you straight to his YouTube channel. He's got a lot of great examples.